every little thing you say with love. Letters, love, affirms the humanity, both of the people who receive the letters and the people who send them. And if you believe in the humanity of the other, it makes oppression extraordinarily difficult. You know, uh, Albert Camus had said that he wanted to make a gamble, that words would be stronger than weapons. To have people, you know, connect with this issue at a level where you would write a letter. A letter is not an easy thing to write. I mean, people may think it is, but actually, a letter that says something that really expresses your heart, it's, it's, it's a prayer. You know, a letter is a prayer, is love. I think it is a loving act to challenge oppression and it's not sentimental to do so because as we saw with the flotilla last year it, it you know you can be killed for um, challenging uh, injustice what we would be delivering has a slight difference than aid in the way that people think of aid we would be delivering love but everyone can participate by sending a letter and sending a message to people in Gaza that there is solidarity. Uh, but I think people should do more than just write a letter. They should write a letter telling people in Gaza what they're doing here in the United States to help challenge U.S. complicity in this siege. I think that's news that people in Gaza will really welcome. We gotta reach somewhere with love And everybody got to be there with love True, true love